the passing of one of our elders, Ed Logan. You know, he knew everything. You know, he taught other people like the right way to do stuff. And, and I heard that when he did pass away, not many of, not many people showed up, you know, that they should have showed up. So do you think that this is a, maybe a sign, maybe, that we need to learn ourselves instead of, you know, waiting for it to come to us, you know? It's like, we have to take action ourselves and, you know, play the part too, instead of just, you know, waiting for it to come to us. I think a lot of people remember how it should be, but it was hard. I mean, people are lazy. Like when my Aunt Mimi died and even my Aunt Dot, it was, it, it's like, it's like things that you, you have to go through and everything that needs to be done, needs to get done and someone steps up and says, okay, lazy because they like well, who's gonna do that you know, they don't know they know but they don't want to do it because it's work so you're right we do need to step up and then whenever something happens with me and my family then I remember I remember how my grandma and how they told us that this is the way it should be family that you know he did pass it on to his sons and, and they they try you know to live that way the way he did and they they do a good job and you know in doing that and, but yeah if, um, each individual you know it's hard it's hard when you see when you're going through that death and you know what needs to be done you know it's going to be hard but to be done so you just have to you know like you said you have to do it and, and um, you know people are so lazy I mean anymore most funerals are like a buffet you know it's not even a reminder of, of what we where we came from from that earth you know that's why you put that food down and that's why you you know pass it out you know and that's that's what I believe that's what I was taught by my grandma, and that's the way it should be, you know, so that's why I do it that way. It would never sit right with me or her or any of my elders to have a buffet style, you know, doing this. It's not how we were raised, that's not how it should be. And then when you say that to people, they're like... Well, it's easier. Yeah. I mean, anymore, it's like, oh, you're doings need to be over an hour and a half <laughs> you know before it was like you know if you went to a, a doings or a ceremony then you were going to be there till about maybe 3 three thirty or 4 but now it's like gotta be done yeah it's got to be done by 2 you know it's like it's it's just kind of the lazy man's way of, of doing things because you let it happen that way Myself and the way my family is, or the way I, if I'm a part of something, and I speak up and say, what well, needs to be this way? You know, we eat at noon, we, you know, we eat on time, that kind of thing. Things that need to be said. Okay, so we're going to see Twilight, Breaking Dawn. Mm -hmm. Do you think that movie is a maybe a step forward or ten steps back from? the Indians in there as far as most of them are from you know Native American descent but none of them are enrolled like we are you know. I think they they probably learned a lot about themselves because they probably had a lot of questions you know about what are you Story. 
joker and the trickster and, and you know that shape shifting. Every tribe has something that non Indians don't know about and they're not gonna know about because we're not gonna share it with them. But you know, in this movie here, um, you know, it was brought out. So it, every every tribe has stories about that. So I don't think it's a step backwards and I like the way that they're